hey, subscribe. Oh, stay still. Unless you are injured and weak. I don't think it's a good idea to be moving so much. I will not harm you. I am also a vampire. But I am not like them. Enjoy. Goodness, this might be the trouble I give around this place in a day. I think that might count as a record. My personal record, at least. Hmm. But I should start walking back home. It's chilly outside. Wow, I can feel a storm coming. What a dark night it is today. The moon looks so beautiful today. Wait a second. I hear a heartbeat. Weak. But still there. Somewhere. Oh, if those damn hunter decided to trespass my domains. Oh, I swear. Oh, there you are. Wait, so covered in bruises and blood and bite marks. Hmm, looking rather much like a human. So this is a hunter's gift. Ah, it was the blood suckers again. Hey, come on now. Let's get you out of those clothes and into a warm bed. I've got you. If you see even a mirror light, do not try to follow it. Bless. Well, it's a relief to see that my skills are still as good as when I was younger. <laughs> You look like a new, my dear friend. Oh, would you look at that? Good morning. I'm so happy to see you have awakened. Oh, stay still. Bless. You are injured and weak. I don't think it's a good idea to be moving so much. I will not harm you. Miss. Yes, you were asleep for almost two days. Honestly, I was getting scared. Already thinking if I had to call the doctor again. Mm, she looks so disoriented. More than I expected. Like, she's unable to picture where she is. Here, I found this stuff animal besides you, back in the forest. I took the liberty of washing them and curing their wounds myself. I hope you don't mind. Right now, we are at my dorms. And it's quite late at night. The moon is at its highest right now. <clears throat> Let me introduce myself. Please. I'm Skyfarless, master of these lands. But do not let the title scare you. I'm not any of the things you have heard from me. The villagers tend to imagine such fantastic stories in their mind about who I truly am. But I think I have known myself for enough time to tell you that there is no more suffering for you, my dear. I would never harm you. I would never harm you or your friends. By the way, me. Oh, 
Such a pretty one. Ah, it's my pleasure. Hey, I'm so sorry for scaring you earlier. I bet you have had enough scares for the rest of your life. Am I wrong? <laughs> I know it was a terrible at the meta joke, but you smiled. But uh, being serious, hey, you can tell me what happened. I will not tell a soul. The village you live in was destroyed completely, burnt to the ground. Oh, only a few people survive. Your family did not have the same luck. Oh, dear. You barely managed to run away before they could find you. So, those monsters are still on the run. I, I am sorry for your losses. Still, I am glad you were able to fall in this part of the forest. There are many creatures who wander at night. I was lucky to find you. Yeah, those things were not humans. They were vampires. But I call them monsters. We do not have laws just for them to break all of them on a daily basis. Oh yeah, you heard it right. We. I am. Also a vampire, but I am not like them. Trust me, I was turned a really long time ago, and now I can even brag about being able to mix quite well with humans. What are you thanking me for? Facing your friend? Oh well. It was my pleasure. I hope they found the service worth a five-star review. <laughs> oh no, no! You don't have to repay me in any way. Well, a confession sounds like a good payment, but only if you really want to, of course. Hmm. Your sight is quite poor, you see. That was why you were so startled at first, and the reason you fell down that hill. So that was why your hair was covered in leaves. <laughs> I thought you were trying to blend with nature. <laughs> uh, only joking, of course. If you let me say something. You were really brave, fleeing away from Han on your own. Minutes after that attack happened, and if my maths are correct, your village is about a week away from mine. It's simply incredible how much time you managed to walk. Remind me not to cross you. What is that face for, dear? Oh, about that. You could stay here, at the manor, until you are fully healed. Only if you want, of course. Yes, really. There are plenty of rooms. You can just do what you like most. And after you are healed. I can search for a new home for you. I know some people that might be of help. Trust me, you fell in the right forest. Now, 
you are under my protection. Oh, you are yawning. Yeah, you should try to get some rest. They say it's the best way to a quick recovery. A request? Oh, with pleasure. I always like to make my guests feel at home. Tell me, what do you want? Could I tell until you fall asleep? Oh, you find my voice quite calming? Like a clear water? Oh, well that is one of the best compliments I have received. <laughs> now, I don't want to stop talking. Yeah, this is a manor. It looks like a castle from the outside. And it is huge on the inside. Even I get lost from time to time. <laughs> Tomorrow, after breakfast, I could take you a walk around the place. I have some beautiful flowers in the garden that you might like. Oh, so you like botanics? That's interesting so the trip to the gardens is mandatory now i believe <laughs> you will enjoy it yeah 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 i have plenty of interesting flowers and trees if you like i could stay here all night after all i don't need sleep I can keep with my bird embroidery while you rest. Rest is here. Those who heard you are being hunted down. And you are at my domains. No one will even think of coming near you. Unless they have a death wish. Oh, perfect timing. Do you like the rain? Yeah, I find it comforting too. Oh, I can see your eyes closing. Are you warm enough? Good. Have a good rest, dear. See you tomorrow.